this week's theme for Heaven Night was meditation. Basically, you can argue with me, but prayer and meditation pretty much the same thing. I'm learning that as I've studied all the different religions and been to all the different countries, it's the same thing. You've got, in India they would call it meditation, and yoga will call it meditation, and really they're putting out affirmations, and, and yoga means union with God, and so if you're praying or you're meditating, you're doing the same sort of thing, and there's so many varieties of both prayer and meditation that human beings in America that are like, well, I don't believe in religion, but I'll go meditate, are really subscribing to the religion of yoga, which is an Indian uh, religion. So once you get involved in meditation, at least you're involved in prayer and union with God. So important. Now this week it's about light versus dark. The reason for this is that there are two energies on this planet I'm studying, and the dark one will definitely take you towards death. It's a scarcity belief. There is an unconsciousness to being in the dark energy. If you are unaware of what you're doing that's harming you or harming yourself or your community, cut that for a little second for me. Turn it off for a second. If you're in a situation where you feel unconscious about what it is that you're doing to harm yourself, your, your community, your friends, anybody, then you are in a dark energy but you don't know about it. You might have hateful emotions inside of you. And this could be, if you believed in God versus Satan. This could be Satan. Got to cut the noise for a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Filming. So we got light, and we've got life, God, abundance, love, and consciousness. So once you become conscious that you want to head towards light versus dark, and some people say, well, there's a gray area. Not really. There's an airplane, and it's getting ready to take off. It either goes up, and it starts ascending, or it goes down, and it's descending. There is no real middle ground. You know, a plane is either ascending or descending. You're either in the light or you're in the dark. Now, if you are now conscious of that and you want to make a choice about being in the light, you've got to start tr choosing conscious breathing over smoking. You've got to choose true words or truth over cursing and lies. These things have frequencies. If you were to measure these things on a, on a chart, EKG kind of unit that was designed to pick up the energy signatures of these words, you would find that if I said, you're a son of God, you have passion, inspiration, go for it. If I were to say that to you, you'd feel charged by those words. Or if I say, hey, this sucks, and do whatever you got to do, nigga, you're going to be like, what? That doesn't feel good. So... It's because of the frequency and the difference of these words. And you need to hang out with people, right Right down here, you've got mm -hmm. loving company, that use true words and give you truth. If people are lying to you, you don't feel good. You're like, I've just been lied to. It's a dip in my frequency. I feel it. You know? If you've been lied to, it, it yeah. hurts your heart. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter whether it's your best friend, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, whatever it is, a lie hurts. So get rid of lies, get into truth. A lie to yourself does you no good either. If you're overweight or you've got the potential of a disease creeping up on you and you're deluding yourself saying, I look fine because when I put on my dress, I look good. Well, that's a lie and it's hurting you. Take a look at the truth and then say, it's time for me to you know, hire an expert in helping me so I don't need to start deluding myself with a lie. So you want to get rid of lies, bring truth into your life. Raw food has been shown to obviously help people uh, cure themselves of diseases and it loses body fat and weight off of my clients at such a rapid rate, I would almost call it a God miracle. That's, how, that's what I'm seeing. And I'm not saying it's me, I'm saying I'm witnessing it. I'm just the one advising people to do it. Cooked food, as we've seen on some of these uh, demonstrations, loses all of its electrical content. It loses its power. So if it's, if it's losing its electrical energy, then you don't have this passion. You have this energy in your, in your, in your nervous system that will fire you up. I mean, I'm still able to be fired up here after massaging lots of people when it's midnight, you know? Mm -hmm. It's because I live off of raw food. And if I were to eat cooked food right now, I'd have a food coma, I'd be like, you know what, screw standing on anyone right now, I'm going to bed. <laughs> you know, because that's what used to happen to me, and I know the difference. So, the other things that are little notes for the, for the week, watch funny movies or inspirational movies over scary movies. If you watch a funny movie, you're like, yeah, you have a great time, you've got endorphins flowing through your bloodstream, you feel good afterwards, you're light, you're happy. If you watch a scary movie, every time you're sitting there and, hey, 
You're releasing adrenaline, cortisol goes through your bloodstream, and afterwards, yeah, it felt fun at the time to get scared, like, oh my god, I got killed. You know, but afterwards, you're actually kind of worn out from the movie, and you're, you've got cortisol going through your bloodstream, your immune system gets lowered and weakened, and if you have germs in your bloodstream, or germs in the movie theater, or germs on the door that you just touched, and then like wipe your face, and those germs go into your body, now, if you had a high immune system, you'd be good. If you got low, a weakened immune system due to too much cortisol and adrenaline releasing, wearing you out, now you're getting run down. Now you're getting ready to catch that cold. And then you're going to need medicine, which is, which is not necessarily the best thing for you because the medicine has toxins too. You want to have preventative care. So this is preventative care. Get into funny movies or inspirational movies. I just bought Reverend Michael Beckwith's movie called... I'm going to plug Michael Beckwith because he deserves it. Spiritual Liberation, very inspiring movie.